So starting the test drive in this Wrangler Sport S, I'm kind of glad I'm doing this one because I just drove a Bronco two-door yesterday and I'm kind of fresh on how the cabin sounds in that with the hard top. And I want to compare it to the hard top in this Wrangler here. And something tells me this will be a little less noisy but we'll just have to see. I do like the driving dynamics of this though because it just drives so, it's so interesting how this thing drives. It just drives like something that's ready to be taken off road and pushed to the fullest extent. Like the, the steering is crazy how you can feel everything. And from an off road standpoint, that's what you want to be able to feel the road. And this is still, so far, a comfortable ride here. And I think that's why a lot of people drive Jeeps because they want something that they can take on trails, they can take off road, but they don't have to have a second car to drive back and forth to work. They can still use this as a daily driver. Still not the most practical, but if you're not doing too much, then it probably works out as opposed to buying a whole other vehicle and then you just have this to go off road in. So it's kind of the, not the best of both worlds, but still both worlds. Now with the two liter turbo, I prefer this engine choice just because I'm more of a, a street driver and I like having turbo pull for let's say muddy terrains. I'm not a big fan of, you know, taking like borderline rock climbing trails, but even with the two liter there, I still think this will be enough. There's a reason that they put this in here, but a lot of people will say the three six is just a better way to go having that naturally aspirated V6. But me personally, I think the two liter turbo is just enough. I think it saves you a bit of money. And again, to me, it's just more fun to drive having a turbocharger. But definitely for daily driving, I feel like this would be the engine of choice for me. Because it's quick, it's more fuel efficient. And again, it just, you put your pedal to the floor, it's a little more fun feeling that boost. Even if the V6 may be a little faster on paper. And what's crazy is just driving around town here, it's a lot quieter than I was expecting. So we'll give it a little throttle here. And again, that turbocharger just makes it feel so much quicker than it probably is. It's just fun to put your foot down with it though. And it sounds so good. I love the blow off valve sound, but I'm gonna use the adaptive cruise now. And I think it's an interesting choice to put adaptive cruise in something like a Jeep because this is the last thing you would expect to have these kind of safety convenience features. But I will say, it is nice. Now on the interstate here, I will say I feel the Bronco two-door that I drove was more acoustically sound than this is, and that surprises me. But I feel like the wind noise gets in here just a tad bit more than in the two-door Bronco. Again, you get a soft top and the Bronco is freaking loud, loud. But that hard top actually was a lot more insulated comparing it to the hard top in this Wrangler. But I mean, this is definitely about 20 grand cheaper than a Bronco right now because those are still bringing crazy money. But I like this Wrangler. I feel like I like the Bronco just a bit more just for the looks, especially since I drove a, a fully loaded one the other day. But still, the Wrangler has a lot more experiences in terms of being an off-road vehicle, staying around longer. And you know, Chrysler's had more time to work out the kinks on this vehicle even if there really hasn't been much done to it over the years but still 
a super fun SUV to drive off-road. And this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Jeep Wrangler Sport S.